Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today I'm doing a segment of Ask Judy. So I'm going to take a few more of your questions and hopefully uh, share some things with you that you might not already know. I really do appreciate you all watching these videos and sharing your questions and suggestions. If you are enjoying this, please do like and subscribe. Bill asked if I ever got to ride in the back of John Boy's car. He called it the mother-in-law seat. We called it the rumble seat. And I did a number of times. I don't remember all of the episodes, but it seems to me I recall in the episode, The Competition, when Aaron and Mary Ellen first meet Chad and we give him a ride back to the Walton house, that I maneuver it so that Chad and I sit in that rumble seat together while Aaron sits in the front with John Boy. I think I'm very clever to have arranged that and Aaron is none too happy to have been you know, sort of pushed out and outmaneuvered by me. Bill also asked if I ever visited Schuyler, Virginia and the real home of Earl Hamner. Um, yes, I did. Not at any point during the actual filming of the series uh, because uh, we filmed all of it in Los Angeles. Uh, we never got to go on location to the actual Hamner house or Virginia. When we did a decade of the Waltons, right at the end of, um, I think it was the eighth season, um, when we all spoke with our real life counterparts, Earl Hamner's real brothers and sisters about playing them as characters on the series. They did split screens. So they filmed all of Earl's family members back in Virginia, which is I think where they were all living at the time or wherever they were, they, they went to them and filmed those pieces of their half of the conversation. And then all of the cast filmed on our sound stage and we, we spoke to them via sort of a double screen. We did not actually see them as we were filming our side of it. We just shot our half of the conversation. So that was all pretty well scripted. Um, but it was a nice opportunity to have that interaction on screen that the audience got to see. After the series was over, I think the first time I went to Virginia was in um, the 90s, in 1990-something, 92, 93, when the Walton Museum opened. When Earl was growing up, the area, the building right across the street from the real Hamner house was, I think at one point, the school that he went to. Later it became, I think, a community center. And then as Schuyler fell more and more onto hard economic times, someone in the community wanted to do more to bring more attention and more, more funds into the area and decided because of the notoriety of the Waltons and the love of the Hamner family and and everything that he turned that community center into a Walton Museum. When it opened in about 1992, pretty much all the cast flew back for that opening and it was quite an event. I don't know if any of you out there were at that, but the crowds were amazing and they were from all over. People came from England and Australia and all over the United States. Uh, I felt like I felt like I was at a rock concert or a political rally or something. And it was pretty exciting. It's a small area. The roads are, it's not easy to get into. And there was quite the traffic jams of people trying to get into the area to attend that opening. It was lovely to have that resurgence and to get to see the real Hamner house and to tour it. I have been through it a few times now. So if you are ever in Schuyler, it is, it's lovely, you should stop by and see that museum. And across the street is the real Hamner house, which you can take a tour of. There's also, very exciting, a new John and Olivia bed and breakfast that was recreated. It looks just like the Walton house, except this one, when you go inside, actually has ceilings and full walls and, and a real upstairs. And you can stay in the rooms there. There's a grandma and grandpa's room, John boy's room, John and Livy's room, the girls' room, and the boys' room. 
and they are varying degrees of of recreation. Some of them look more like the actual rooms than others. But the downstairs, the living room, the kitchen, all of that, they did a wonderful job of recreating. It was very surreal for the members of the cast who attended the opening weekend of that bed and breakfast. We were the first, I think, outside, outside the people who built it and own it, the first people to stay there. It was quite fascinating because we arrived and we were the only ones in the house. Uh, the owners left the house to us for the night and we all sat around the kitchen table for real and just, it was so surreal to be there. And I felt so funny. It was like we've been left alone in the house, which never happened on the set because we were only ever on the set if we were filming. So I was never just hanging out on the set all by myself or with just the cast. And in this case, we were. It was quite special and we... We looked around and we reminisced and went, oh, that's a little different, or these stairs feel different, or this is a little bigger, or that's shaped differently. And so it it was the first time we had an actual real meal that was, you know, cooked for us and 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 warm the whole time and a complete meal there at the table that wasn't for a scene. So quite an experience. And again, uh, I highly recommend it if you are a real Walton fan to go and have that experience. I hope to get back again sometime. So uh, over the years, I have been then to Schuyler a number of times and, and it is a, it's always full of memories for me. And I really appreciate that, that that still exists and that it has continued to grow and be an area that is now a tourist destination for those of you who love the Waltons. Someone else asked if I collect any autographs or have any autographs from other celebrities that I have met. Um, occasionally, I have, I have asked for an autograph. I don't do it very often. Oddly, I'm always self-conscious to do that. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel I just feel uh, self-conscious about asking people. But sometimes if I am at, at autograph shows where the Walton cast, uh, where we are participating in an autograph show, then sometimes there will be an opportunity to have a photo taken or, or get other actors and performers that, that um, I admire to get them to sign a photo. I know we did that at one point with um, some of the the original members from Batman um, were were present. And so Adam West and Burt Ward, and then Lee Merriweather, and um, I, I'm spacing on it, but one of the other actresses who played Catwoman. So there were, there were several members from the Batman series, and we had a picture taken with them, and I had them sign it, and that was very special to me. Uh, so occasionally things like that will happen, but I can be just as much of a fan of people I admire um, as anyone. So thanks for asking. I was also asked, knowing Earl did the narration, did he ever visit the set and meet the cast? Yes, Earl was actually a member of the production team the entire time. He, besides being the show's creator, he was the um, the story editor and the creative consultant throughout the series, and then a producer. He wrote uh, quite a few episodes, and he was up in the production office all the time and came down to the set very regularly. I first met him when we were doing the homecoming. He was at the original auditions for the homecoming. He was around the set all through the homecoming, and when we were up in Jackson Hole, Wyoming filming, he was up there. And then when we did the series, he was around. So it was lovely to have all those years of getting to know him, not just through the recreation of his family, but him as a person. Absolutely lovely man, I adored him. We would call him Uncle Earl. And uh, he didn't, he actually appeared in uh, an episode during the series. Uh, one of the um, episodes, the, I believe it was called The Journey, when John Boy takes an older woman for a visit, a, a journey that she's uh, wanted to do before she passes away. And as they have dinner and they dance, she remembers um, her husband. And as she dances, it flashes back from her dancing with Richard to her dancing with Earl Hamner. And he has mutton chops and, you know, and, and um, is, is dressed of that earlier era. And we actually see him on camera. 
And then again, when we did the decade of the Waltons, we see him actually on the back lot of Warner Brothers and walking through the sets from the old sawmill to the front porch. And then I believe we also see him inside the Walton House sets. So he did actually appear on camera a few times as well. There has been a lot of speculation and questions about whether or not there will be any Walton gatherings, any any fan reunions for the 50th anniversary. And I am happy to say that the members of the Walton cast, we recently uh, joined up on Zoom to all talk about this, me and Mary and Cammie and John and Eric, and uh, just to talk about what we might want to do. Were we interested in doing something? And so we are exploring a number of options for uh, 2022 to see about celebrating the 50th anniversary of the beginning of the Walton series. Of course, this December celebrates the 50th anniversary of the homecoming. We thought 2022 would likely be a time when it would be safe for us all to travel again and gather. So we might do one thing, we might do a number of different events, but we are thinking of you and we would like to be able to join with you in celebration of this show that means so much to all of us as a cast, my, my second family, but also we know from all of the lovely um, interaction we've had with those of you who have followed the show for all these years, what it means to you. So we really do enjoy that opportunity to, to share with all of you in person. So uh, we will keep you posted uh, through our Facebook pages and um, I will try to let you know any updates here on, on my, my channel here when I have information. So uh, maybe a while before we know anything, but we'll let you know. Those are the updates I have for you for this segment. I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.